Hello my crafting friends, I'm coming with my last challenge video um, for today and this is for Ashley, I believe her name is, she's Chronic Scrapper here on YouTube and she is having a flip book challenge. So like I say, I have really enjoyed, I never could really get into the pocket letters, I tried, but every time I was in a swap or I was to make one, I waited till the last minute, I struggled. Those nine little pockets just were just, I don't know, I could not get into it. Um, but these flip books, I'm, and I've never been a mini album person just because I like my pictures to be preserved. Um, I, you know, I just don't think when they're out, um, they're just not as safe. And so I, I just could never get into like the whole mini album thing, but I'm really loving these um, flip books. You know, it's, I think it's a fun way to communicate with our friends and to send them little goodies. And it's not a huge, you know, thing, but it's, you know, it's a little more than a card. So I wanted to join in on her challenge. And like I say, her YouTube is Chronic Scrapper. So um, the front, I kind of left a little bit, you know, plain. I didn't do a ton. I had this chipboard piece in my stash for a long time. It's this fancy that. I thought it looked really nice and fun with this paper. And... This is a, like I say, a 6 by 12 piece of paper, and you just score it at 4 and at 8, and then and it just gives you like a trifold. And then I added some pearls here. I added um, this little rosette that came with my Spellbinders kit, card kit for last month. This is the Craft Supplies for You flower. And then I just made um, this really pretty lace um, flower. I've been having a lot of fun using my laces and ribbons and trims and making um, flowers recently. Um, I used these adhesive squares that I got from Manamagabi, so that's really fun. And then this is another one of those coin envelopes. I've loved using my paper scraps to make those because they're the perfect size to hold goodies and they look great in the flip books. And I used some washi here that was in um, from Spellbinders in my card kit. Just some dainty lace at the top of both of these pages and this was in my Spellbinders card kit this month. I thought it was really pretty. The gold foil is really in. And then like I say I've been trying to use images um, that were gifted to me. This beautiful magnolia was done by my sweet friend Laura whose Laura loves lace and it just matched beautifully with the colors in here. These fun bows were paper bows from the Spellbinders kit this month. And then just some fun lace trim here that was a beautiful piece that I got from TPG Crafts, which is Julie's shop, um, Thrifty Paper Garden. And then I just um, cut the image out with a scallop and then I took the next larger scallop and used some scrap pattern paper there. This beautiful, um, I think it's a Santora image is the company, I don't know what her name is, but Lydia, who's I triple dog dare you here on YouTube, um, and she's going through quite a bit now. It was wonderful to see a video from her the other day and hear her voice. She colored up this image in my challenge and sent it to me a few years ago. And so I added some stickles to the wings. And that's Lydia's beautiful coloring. And another piece of that beautiful trim from TPG Crafts. And then this is another bow from the Spellbinders kit. And then I just put my information... Um, YouTube information on the back. So I hope you enjoy my flip book, Ashley, and um, I'm going to get your, need your address. Um, once I get the video up, um, I will PM you for your address, and I hope you enjoy my flip book. So thank you ladies for watching, and happy crafting.